Gore would have sang in that song, but he's a little hoarse. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. My friends, next upon our agenda. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god! Now, it is uh, traditional on the last day of a festival to do a few mashups, and the mashup right now is. Mad Maggie and the Drenched Witches! There's a corner in the meadow where the lads and lasses meet Where they do their what they couldn't do upon the open street They play all kinds of games there but the one I like the best is when everyone rumples up the cuckoo's nest and it's high the cuckoo low and cuckoo high the cuckoo's nest high the cuckoo low and cuckoo high the cuckoo's nest high give it a last shilling and a ball to love the best to rumple up the feathers of my cuckoo's nest he wooed me in the morning then he had me in the night i was his very first one so he tried to do it right he searched around and wandered and he never would have guessed if I hadn't shown him where to find my cuckoo's nest. And it's high the cuckoo's low, the cuckoo high the cuckoo's nest. High the cuckoo low, the cuckoo high the cuckoo's nest. I give any lad a shilling and a ball to love the best. To rumple up the feathers of my cuckoo's nest. When I showed him where to find it, he knew just where to go. Through the underbrush and rambles where the little cuckoos grow. The moment that he found it, I would never let him rest. Till he rumpled up the feathers of my cuckoo's nest And it's high the cuckoo low, the cuckoo high the cuckoo's nest High the cuckoo low, the cuckoo high the cuckoo's nest I give it a loud shiver and a ball to love the best To rumple up the feathers of my cuckoo's nest It was bushy, it was prickly, it was feathered all around It was tucked away so neatly and it wasn't easy found I said, young man, you're blundering, I knew it wasn't true he left me with the makings of a young cuckoo. And it's high the cuckoo low, the cuckoo high the cuckoo's nest. High the cuckoo low, the cuckoo high the cuckoo's nest. I give any lad a shilling and a ball to love the best. To rumple up the feathers of my cuckoo's nest. And it's high the
time today. Yeah. Well, there's one man that you can give your many thanks to. I want to present to you the founder of this feast, our co-producer, Brian Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. We had a good time here at the Robin Hood Springtime Festival. Thank you all very much for coming. I don't want to take up too much of your time because we have some more really cool stuff coming up. But I want to take a moment to thank someone who's very special to our, our CTRF family. So if I could please have Dr. Reverend James Tewksbury please come up here to the stage. <laughs> Reverend Tewksbury has been with us for many, many years. He's been our site manager. He's been our construction guy. He's been our, it's broke. We need to call someone to fix it. It's him. Um, that pretty much goes for everything that we break, which is a lot of stuff. Um, he gives us advice on how to do things. Uh, he helps us do every aspect of this show. We couldn't do it without him. I don't know how we're going to do it without him because he's now moving to upstate New York and will be leaving us. So, yes. Now it's our hope that he'll find a way to make the 12 hour round trip commute to come back and, and help out a little bit at the fall and other things that we're doing, but we don't really know what exactly is going to happen with his future, so we're, we're just wishing him well, not saying goodbye. So we, um, we bought you this little gift here and, and all the staff and all the fighters that you've worked with have signed it and a little message for you. So.
Ah, he spent it in good company. I am all the harm I ever did. Well, alas, it was to none of me. And all I have done for want of wit, and now I cannot make home. So filled her with a part and glass. Good night and joy be with you all. <coughs> I've had a life 
right pads full and the roof will bring good to me. Go higher up the bedroom, we'll play it, give me one last thing. When the sun comes up, I will leave it out of fight. The world is mine tonight. I've had a life that's full and the roof will bring good to me. So fire up the bedroom, we'll play it, give me one last thing. When the sun comes up, I will leave it out of fight. The world is mine tonight. a long-standing tradition here at this festival. I want to present to you for their last number of this season, The Hopper and the Minstrel.
Well, my friends, it's about that time to wrap things up for the season. I want to thank you all for joining us. I know that we've forged friendships, we've won battles, and we've we've created something special. Not only the cast, but all of us together. I want to remind you that we do have a few other Connecticut fans coming up. Uh, Labor Day weekend, there will be the Connecticut Pirate. Excuse me. <laughs> the Connecticut Pirate Fair. Uh, there will be an Enfield, Connecticut, and then, of course, a fall festival, now changing its location to Norwich in the Dodd Stadium area, uh, which will also feature a king called uh, Henry VIII. Yes, yes, indeed. But until that time, my friends, I would like to call forward His Royal Highness Prince John! That's the problem with working a show. Not enough booze. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen Mother, Queen Eleanor of Aquitaine! <laughs> My friends, the outlaw hero himself, the Prince of Thieves, Robin Hood and his man! <laughs>
on! Thank you for coming. That's it, go home. Go home and shave. Get to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs>